It began in 2018 when Donald Trump walked away from the Iran nuclear deal, a deal that was working, that was protecting America's interests, and that was stopping Iran from developing a nuclear weapon. We are in the midst of a crisis with Iran today because Donald Trump decided to tear up the Iran nuclear deal, to walk away from the agreement. Now, he went out and said, it's because of the deal that we're in this crisis, when in fact, it's exactly the opposite. And the best way to know this is just to compare how things were when the deal was in place to how things are now that the deal is no longer in place. Under the deal, Iran's nuclear program was in a box. It was frozen. Under the deal, there were no rocket attacks killing Americans in Iraq. Under the deal, America was leading the world in the fight against ISIS. Today, Iran's nuclear program is moving forward. They are getting closer to a nuclear weapon. Today, Iran is attacking shipping in the Gulf and threatening the rest of the region. And today, Donald Trump is sending thousands of troops to the region, raising the possibility that we end up in yet another war in the Middle East. Diplomacy with Iran is not easy. I know. I negotiated with the Iranians. I sat face to face with them over the course of many years. And this is going to be a painstaking, difficult process. But diplomacy is a heck of a lot better as an option than the current options that the Trump administration has pursued, which has been a path of provocation, escalation, and violence. And that is going to get us nowhere good. So let's get back to diplomacy, because that is how we ultimately secure America's interests. For now, the Iranian attacks against US forces have stopped. Our presence in Iraq is stable. I emphasize for now, because all of that can change. And the Middle East region is quieter today than it has been in two decades. Now, challenges remain. Iran's nuclear weapons program, the tensions between Israelis and Palestinians. But the amount of time that I have to spend on crisis and conflict in the Middle East today compared to any of my predecessors going back to 9-11 is significantly reduced. Biden's national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, he's another beauty, bragged to the, this is like a couple of days ago, like yesterday. He bragged to a foreign policy audience to quote, the Middle East region is quieter today than it's been in two decades. Oh, how's that working out? They just attacked Israel, and it's been a hotbed beyond that, even beyond that. This war happened for three reasons. The allowing by the Biden administration of Iran to sell massive amounts of oil, making $60 billion a year. People don't talk about that. They talk about the $6 billion. But they gave them $6 billion in ransom money. We got six, they got six. We got five, they got five. But then what happened is they also got $6 billion. So we got five, and they got five. And on top of the five, they got $6 billion. Somehow, that's not a good deal. And our country has perceived weakness with an incompetent and corrupt leader, Joe Biden, who's laughed at all over the world. Subscribe to the Dummy Funnies now!